Today we're making a California chicken sandwich for you and the chicken is grilled on the stove, but you could also do it on the barbecue if you wanted to. And we're gonna top it with some bacon. We've got cheese, I got lettuce and tomato, caramelized onion, and we have a special citrus mayo sauce. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Here's our first joke. What do chicken philosophers think about? The meaning of existence. <laughs> Did I mention that there's caramelized onion in this recipe? Well, there are, and we need to get started on those right away. So we're gonna chop up our onion into thin slices, relatively speaking, and then we're gonna place them into a frying pan with some olive oil, and we're gonna saute these nice and low and slow. So it's gonna take about 40 minutes. Keep the heat low here and turn these over periodically. What you'll end up with is these beautiful caramelized onions that are sweeter and just so delicious. While our onions are caramelizing, we're gonna work on our citrus mayo. For that, I'm using Primal Kitchen's avocado mayo. As you can see here, the ingredients are really clean. One thing I like to avoid are those seed oils, canola oil, vegetable oils, they're not good for us. So we'll place everything in a bowl. And remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Now for our citrus flavor, we're gonna use some frozen orange juice concentrate. We're gonna add a little more citrus flavor here with a fresh lime. So we'll give a little squeeze of that. Next I'm adding a half a teaspoon of ground cumin and then I will blend that up with a whisk. And I almost forgot to add the zest, so I'll do it now. I usually like to do it before I juice a, a lemon or a lime, but uh, no harm done. So we'll go ahead and blend that up again, and I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator until we need to serve it up. It is now time to cook our bacon. And I figure about one piece per burger. Now I'm gonna start this at medium heat, but then I'll probably turn it down to low as it cooks, and I'll just flip it over pretty frequently. After it turns a nice golden brown like we have here, I'm gonna place it on a paper towel covered plate. With the leftover bacon grease, we're gonna save that. I'm gonna pour some of it off and we're gonna use it to cook our chicken in and give it some great flavor. For our chicken, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs because they're nice and juicy and they just stay nice and moist. Now take your knife and just go around and trim off any excess fat. Once you have the thighs trimmed of any excess fat, then you're gonna to wanna to open them up a little bit and then we're gonna pound them so that they have a uniform thickness, you know, about a, maybe a half an inch thick. A meat tenderizer works great and you can just smash that chicken thigh just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. And this will help them cook up a lot faster. We're gonna season up our chicken thighs with salt, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, ground coriander, and some pepper. So make sure when you're seasoning up your thighs that you season both sides. We want these to be nice and flavorful. And then just go ahead at the end and pat in the spices so they kind of stick. I like to show you the setup here on the stove. Here's my frying pan with the bacon grease. We're heating that up. I've got another pan next to it that is going to be to heat up our brioche roll that we're gonna be serving this on. Now feel free to serve this burger on any kind of bread you want or even some lettuce wrap. So once your bacon grease is hot, lay those thighs right in there. These aren't going to take very long to cook because we pounded them thin, so that's why I like to do that. After about four or five minutes, you'll notice that the chicken is turning white about halfway up. When you start to see that, you know it's about time to start checking it to see if you can turn it over cook this another four or five minutes on the second side and you can check the for the internal temperature to be at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit at which point I'm going to start laying some sliced Monterey Jack cheese on top of the chicken thighs and then we're going to follow up with some delicious crispy bacon Monterey Jack melts really easily so you're still going to want to put a lid on this just to kind of speed it up but it's a great cheese to use for this Okay, it's time for chef joke number two. Why do hens always live in the moment? Because they don't want to count their chickens before they hatch. <laughs> I'm gonna be serving up this burger on a brioche roll, which you can use, like I said earlier, anything you like. 
and we're going to prepare it by putting a little butter on it and browning it on the stove. The butter goes in the pan over medium low heat and then once it melts we're going to put that bun right on it. Keep a close eye on this and once it gets nice and toasted like this, nice and golden brown, then we'll place it on a, a plate and we're ready to serve this thing up. By the way, here are our burgers after that cheese has melted. Doesn't that look scrumptious? Here's how we put this together. I've got my citrus mayo here. We're going to put a little layer of that on with, along with some romaine lettuce here. Or you could use iceberg, whichever you prefer. I like to go in with a little more of that dressing just because it tastes so wonderful. And here's that chicken thigh with the Monterey Jack and bacon along with those caramelized onions. Are you getting hungry yet? Of course, we have to have a nice slice of a juicy tomato along with some nice creamy avocado. And a final drizzle of that citrus mayo. This is something to sink your teeth into. If you want a low carb version, go ahead and get some iceberg, lay out some leaves just like this, and then place everything right in it and you've got yourself a delicious burger. Can't wait to sink my teeth into this burger. I, you know, I eat everything that I make and I just enjoy it all. Those chicken thighs are tender and juicy. We've got that sauce that, of course, ties everything together. It's always the sauce that makes it, right? And, you, you know, you got the cheese, you got the bacon, and you got the caramelized onions. It's scrumptious. Now, here's a delicious dessert to go along with this burger. It's my lemon pudding cake. Light and delicious. Click the link on the screen, and it'll take you right to the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, just let me know down there. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.